Something unusual is happening in quantum laboratory oratories worldwide. It is not a small update to technology, and it is not a slow evolution of ideas. It feels more like the universe itself has started to open a door that was always shut. Scientists are no longer working in ordinary territory. They are standing at the edge of something that changes how matter behaves, how time flows, and how reality forms. They speak about the new results with a mix of wonder and concern, because the outcomes do not match anything predicted by older theories. These discoveries coming out in late 2025 are rewriting the foundations of physics faster than anyone expected. For over a hundred years, physicists have debated the wave function. Some said it was real. Others said it was just a calculation, a tool to predict where a particle might be. Now that the old debate is being left. New experiments suggest that when a person measures a quantum system, they are not looking at a blurred image or an approximation. They are seeing the actual state of reality. The wave function appears to be physical. It exists before anyone looks at it. When a measurement takes place, the hidden structure of the universe is revealed, not invented. This discovery forces scientists to see the quantum world not as a puzzle of probabilities, but as a deeper layer of existence that becomes visible when touched. One major experiment showed how strange this new understanding can be. A team studied a special insulator under extremely powerful magnetic fields. In a normal insulator, electrons cannot move freely. But in this experiment, they found oscillations deep inside the bulk of the material that only appear in metals. This was not a surface effect. It was at the core. That should be impossible. Yet the signals were strong and clear. The material behaved like a conductor and an insulator at the same time. It held two identities at once, expressing each depending on how it was examined. This duality changes how scientists think about matter. It suggests that materials can hold hidden states that activate only under the right conditions, and those states can exist together instead of replacing each other. Another laboratory focused on the foundations of quantum theory itself. They used a high-precision quantum computer to perform a fundamental test. This test was designed to decide whether quantum mechanics describes real physical states, or whether it is just a statistical tool. The results pointed directly toward the wave function being part of reality. It is not just information about possibilities, it is the actual condition of the system before observation. When someone measures the system, they are uncovering something real, not choosing randomly from a set of abstract predictions. This means the universe responds to measurement physically and immediately, as if measurement is part of its natural process. These experiments are happening at the same time as three major patterns in quantum technology. The first pattern is the discovery of exact scaling laws for quantum computing. For years, engineers struggled through trial and error. Sometimes machines improved, sometimes they did not. But now researchers have equations that show how to build larger and more stable quantum systems. They know how many qubits are needed for certain tasks. They know how to reduce errors step by step. They know how much coherence time is required to reach the next tier of performance. Quantum computing is no longer guesswork. It follows predictable paths. This predictability makes artificial superintelligence feel less like an idea and more like a stage on a timeline. The second pattern is the realization that quantum machines become far more powerful when they run longer without noise. When allowed to continue their internal operations uninterrupted, quantum systems organize themselves. Their internal states settle into patterns that allow deeper calculation. Tiny increases in coherence time produce massive increases in capability. It is like watching a mind given more peace, able to think more deeply, and reach conclusions impossible under constant distraction. This pattern shows that quantum systems may be capable of forms of processing that classical computers cannot imitate. The third pattern is quantum distillation. This discovery surprised even experienced researchers. One quantum system can now pass its refined knowledge to another system. But the strange part is that the new system often becomes more capable than the system that trained it. Instead of simple copying, the process creates improvement. It builds a chain of systems, each more refined than the last. This resembles evolution on fast forward. 
Generation after generation, machines are getting smarter and organized. Classical computers cannot do this. It is a new form of growth that only quantum mechanics allows. Meanwhile, different research groups are exploring entirely new states of matter using advanced quantum processors. By driving systems far from equilibrium, far beyond their normal resting states, they discovered phases of matter that appear only under active forcing. In these phases, particles behave like shifting patterns of energy rather than fixed pieces of matter. They change identity depending on how the system is driven. They form topological designs that cannot exist in ordinary space. These discoveries show that the universe contains hidden structures that only reveal themselves under rare and extreme conditions. It suggests that reality may be far richer than what traditional physics has mapped so far. Taken together, these discoveries create a picture of a universe that is not rigid, but adaptable. It is flexible. It responds to observers. It shapes itself around interactions. It hosts states that overlap, combine, and separate, depending on how they are touched. This view of reality looks very different from the old mechanical universe made of fixed parts. It resembles a field of possibilities, shifting and responding in ways that once sounded like imagination rather than physics. Quantum entanglement adds another layer. Two particles can remain connected across great distances. Their states change together instantly. The distance does not matter. This connection suggests that there is a deeper level of reality beneath space itself. It mirrors ideas found in ancient philosophical and spiritual teachings. Ideas about unity, alignment, and invisible bonds. Scientists do not use spiritual language, but the resemblance is clear. If reality allows connection beyond physical space, and if observation collapses possibilities into outcomes, then human intention might play a role in shaping events in ways that science is only beginning to understand. Many people describe moments when their thoughts or decisions lead to outcomes that seem too perfectly aligned to be random. They talk about having a sense of direction before any evidence appears. They describe feeling pulled toward the right choice at the right moment. These experiences were once seen as intuition or coincidence. But in a universe built on superposition and entanglement, these moments might reflect real interactions with deeper patterns of possibility. Even with all this progress, quantum computing still faces enormous challenges. The systems available today are powerful compared to classical machines, but they are not yet capable of solving major industrial or scientific problems. The biggest obstacle is error correction. A useful quantum computer might require millions of physical qubits to create thousands of stable logical qubits. The engineering required to build such machines is extreme, yet advances are happening far faster than predicted. Every new design reduces noise, Every new generation increases stability. The gap is shrinking, and it is shrinking quickly. The world is racing now. The nation or organization that reaches large-scale quantum capability first will lead the next era of technology. They will understand materials, chemistry, energy, medicine, and physics in ways that others cannot match. They will unlock new powers and states. They will shape global power in ways that go far beyond data and computation. Quantum supremacy is not just speed, it is about understanding the blueprint of reality itself. For individuals living during this time, the discoveries carry a deep message. Science, consciousness, and intention are drawing closer together. A person's inner world may not be separate from the outer world. Thoughts, emotions, and decisions may interact with the structure of possibility in ways that classical physics could not explain. The universe may not be a cold machine, it may be a responsive field that reacts to clarity, focus, and choice. Humanity now faces a decision. People can cling to old models that say the world is fixed and human influence is limited. Or they can learn to live in a universe that is open, connected, and shaped by interaction. They can choose to understand how their attention influences the field of possibilities around them. They can learn to act with awareness in a world where observation carries power. The coming years will make that truth clearer. By 2026 and 2027, quantum machines may reach stability levels once thought impossible. They may perform millions of operations accurately, 
They may enable systems that learn from themselves and improve without human programming. They may reveal patterns of reality that change how people understand space, time, and matter. At the same time, individuals will learn to navigate this new reality. They will learn how to use intention, clarity, and focus to align with outcomes. They will begin to understand that the boundary between mind and matter is thinner than anyone imagined. All these discoveries point to one central truth. The wave function is real. Observation shapes outcomes. The future exists as a field of possibilities until someone interacts with it. Science has shown these ideas are no fantasy. They describe the structure of existence. The question now is not whether this is true. The question is how humanity will choose to live in an answer universe.